Right, so we all go through those phases where we're just feeling a little burnt out. Yeah, well, the guy you're about to meet uh, might just give you the motivation you need to keep going. Here's Kevin Reese. It's 7 a.m. on a Thursday, but what you're about to see happens five days a week at 7 a.m. He arrives at the Forest Lane Dart Station by car, unfolds himself as much as he can, grabs a walker from the trunk, and his journey with a weathered brown briefcase begins. Thank you very much. This is the morning routine of John DeShazo Jr., 92-year-old. Good morning. John DeShazo Jr. Arriving red line. Or, as he prefers to call himself, just a regular guy on his way to work. I've had to get up earlier because I'm slower. This is the red line. Thank you very much. Once I get going, I'm, I'm okay. He makes this trip five days a week. Uh, every day, yes. Even though he has scoliosis so severe, the doctors have told him that at his age, it can't be fixed. Now arriving at Grid Station. But where is he going? And at his age, why? Enjoy the people on the train. Because a lifetime career isn't over just yet. John DeShazo was once the director of transportation for the city of Dallas. And for the past 39 years, a civil engineer in private practice, making sure traffic and trains and even parking garages are designed to move people in the most efficient way possible. Dallas Union Station. For him, a Dallas Rapid Transit train is now the most efficient way possible to get him each day to Union Station. Here you go, I got you for you, Thank you very much. Yeah, how are you? Very well, and yourself? Because in his third floor office, there is still much work to do. Uh, we've not heard back from the client on that then. He still runs the company that bears his name. Okay, thank you. And works next to a photo of General George Patton on purpose. I liked his can-do attitude, just his motivation. Yeah, you feel like you're doing that now with your, your age and your health condition and here you still are? Yes. But I had to ask him if his trip to work each day is as painful as it looks. Probably is, but I, I don't let it bother me. Frankly, I don't, I don't think about my problems. Do you do consider your situation a problem at all? That's correct. You don't? I don't. He explained the rest with a joke. Why do you keep coming to this office? Well, you know, if you retire, you don't have any holidays. <laughs> the only retirement certificate on his wall is the one from his days in the Army. And unlike the traffic meter lamp at his desk, his usefulness has not yet expired. I think that people need to have some type of mission in life. Is, is that part of what still motivates you? Yes. Making that contribution? Yes. He has signs on the wall reminding himself to sit up straight, to sit tall. But maybe at 92, he already does. That desire to, to contribute and to do something and achieve something doesn't go away just because you're 92. Right. So if you see John on the train, he says don't feel sorry for him. He's still doing what he loves, going to and from the job he still wants to do. Plus, if he takes the train. It gives me, th you know, 30 more minutes of, uh, of uh, productivity. He has more of his ever so valuable time to get more things done. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.